that he's trying to serve, which is okay. everybody in the United but States of it, America. But does it, here's the things that bother me about him. <laughs> I, know, like, I, could, I, I know no politician is perfect. I can let a lot of shit go. Right. But one, he doesn't concede elections. That's always going to be a deal breaker for me. <laughs> does not concede elections and has gotten all you guys to pretend that they won the last election. Two, he just lies. Like he doesn't even care or know what he's lying about. It just, I mean, I have a list just from last night. Um, the election was stolen. No, it wasn't. Uh, crime is up. Crime is down. Worst inflation ever. It's been 23. It's three. <laughs>
when Obama was the president for like a year or two. I do recall that. But I do not recall where it's gas prices, it's groceries, it's the price of home improvement, right? People who want to switch out their windows, replace their roof, they want to do lumber and new builds and stuff. That The cost is ridiculous today. So it, when Bill Maher's attitude is why so many people are waking up and saying, oh, this is bullshit. Okay, so for the last four years, last eight years, we were listening to the media. We, we were believing everything you guys were telling us, that Donald Trump is a racist. He's a threat to democracy. He's ruining this country. You know, th this is bad. And the results are not showing that. The results are showing a huge contradiction to what the media says and what's actually happening in a person's life. And once people start to wake up and critically think and do their research, they start to see just how many lies have been floating around unchecked. Young voters, young men in particular, are saying, you know what? At least when Donald Trump was president, I had more money in my pocket and I could get yeah. more things. Because this Joe Biden guy, he's not getting it done. Yeah, but here's the thing. <laughs> look, look, and then he's shaking his head like he can't agree. It is a fact that that the cost of everything was lower when Donald Trump was in office. That is a fact. You cannot debate that. You cannot dispute it. It doesn't matter what side you're on. That is an objective uh, a, a truth, right? And it's also a fact that there were no wars when Donald Trump was the president. There was not Russia and Ukraine. There was not Israel and Hamas. That did not exist. Iran did not have money to fund their terrorism. That did not exist. Now it does. Now, you may be able to justify why that is, but to argue that the outcome is not true, that's where people are saying, okay, this is getting crazy, right? We, we understand, you know, you guys aren't always going to be truthful, but now you're just 100% you're, you're just lying to me. And people are fed up with it. Donald Trump, though, you have to understand Donald Trump's DNA. His cells need him to lie just like other cells Please, need oxygen. Me. You know? Yeah, yeah. Please tell me, because you know Donald Trump. You spent your life with Donald Trump. You went to rallies with Donald Trump. You did business with Donald Trump. You worked for Donald Trump. So of course you would know, right? Th this is the derangement that exists. I've never worked for Joe Biden. I've never been on a rally where Joe Biden exists. I've never met Joe Biden's family. So there's only so much I could say. I'm only going to speak to the results. Right. I can speak about the debate. I could speak about his performance because there's results to show there are receipts to show. But I don't know Joe Biden's character. I don't know him as a father. I'm not going to speak on that. You'll never hear me say Joe Biden is a terrible father. I don't know him like that. And but these people that are on uh, TV and they have these huge platforms, they pass that line and they start speaking as if they know. So to <laughs> To him, it's not lying. It's part of who he is. Honestly, I don't think he even thinks he's lying. That's just how he. That's what. That's my point. Right. Is it's that not it's lying just what his him. what he feels? He said there was a moment where he said uh, when he was talking about getting shot, hmm. and he said, "I looked down and my hand was blood, covered with blood, and there was blood all over the place." And then I showed a picture of his hand with no blood. <laughs> I'm not diminishing what happened. I'm just saying in his. Uh, that's. He didn't say blood was on his hand. He said blood was all over the place. And again, this is their derangement, right? They want Donald Trump to be 110% accurate with every single word that they use, even though they don't hold themselves to the same standard. Like what they're doing right now on this show. They're not being truthful themselves, right? So it, it, this is the hypocrisy that exists is they want to cross a line and try to dissect every single word that comes out of his mouth instead of dissecting the results, what were the results when Trump was in office? You can critique that. You can critique his COVID stance and his support for the vaccines. You you can, you know, uh, talk about how him and the media media would clash. You, you could talk about, you know, how whatever you could you could debate that stuff. But, you know, it, it's 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 crazy. That was so indicative of who he is in his mind. The, the thing was just crazy blood. But it was just a little blood here. You, right, right, right. Because because you've been shot. You know what that experience is. You know exactly what he went through. And so you 
are wanting to correct what he's saying. Got it. Conversations where you might have gotten into an altercation, a shouting match with somebody, but it turned into like the fight from Rocky IV. But in your mind, when you're having to deal with that, yes, it's a major situation. The man almost lost his life. I'm going to give him some edi- editorial movement on the amount of blood on his hand. I'm going to give him that. Okay. I'm going to give him that. Yeah. Know? Yeah. Because we're not deranged, right? We, we have common sense. We understand everybody's going to exaggerate. Let's call it what it is. You exaggerate, Donald Trump exaggerates, Joe Biden exaggerates, every single politician in the world is a professional exaggerator. We're not dumb. The Americans are not dumb. They know this. But what they really know are the results. That's what we know. Yeah, so you guys saw all of that, right? And, you know, it just, it, every now and then, Bill Maher will say something that does make sense. And you have to give people credit, right? I, I don't see what's wrong in politics or just in life of calling it what it is and giving people credit where credit is due. Will Bill Maher every now and then say something that is absolutely true and could be labeled as a criticism of people on the right or conservatives or Donald Trump? Absolutely. 100%. But is it also true that he's deranged and he says things from a place of how he feels about a person and not necessarily what the results say? That's more likely to happen than the former, what I just said. So th- this is why I want to bring this to your attention because you're going to run into people like this in your life. This could be your uncle, your aunt, your friend, your coworker, your manager, and you have to set boundaries and not allow people to just gaslight you and tell you what the truth is. Now, does that mean you get into an argument with them? No, that's not what that means. But what it does mean is you ask questions that pokes holes in their logic And even if they disagree, they're going to leave the conversation saying, damn, you know, I I really didn't see it that way. And even if they don't, you leave the conversation in control of yourself, not being deranged like a Bill Maher, not being deranged like this other guy that was on the show. His name is uh, Larry Wilmore or a Joy Reid, right, or or Greg Conway or Harry Simpson. I mean, these people, I'm telling you, they they are they, they don't even think it's based off how they feel. And then how they feel is is what's coming out of their mouth and not necessarily what what the facts are. So, listen, my job is not to tell people what to think and who to vote for. My job is to bring these stories to you, tell you what the mindset behind these people are. And as you can see, Byron Donald's calm, collective, was not out of control, was not emotional in any of his responses. Ask questions, stated the facts. That's it. That's how you have to treat people who are out of control emotionally, do not play their game because you will look just like they do. And with that, I just want to share my mindset. So I want to hear from you. What do you guys think about Byron Donalds going on to the show and really checking Bill Maher about his stance on Trump and this whole lies that he believes in and this inflation uh, rhetoric where they keep gaslighting American people, telling them, no, inflation's great. Everything's great. But it really is not. I want to hear from you and more in the comment section below. Thank you for checking out the video today. I'll see you in the next one.